example, if you are a, uh, an architect, you might show some drawings to give people a concept of the building that you're going to make. All right, turn the page. Let's look at number six. We have the word culture. culture. Culture is a noun, right? I think you already know this word, culture. It relates to the ideas, activities, art, foods, businesses, and ways of behaving that are special to a country or a people or a region. How many dots are there? One. Because? Two syllables. Two syllables. So we have C U L dot T U R E. And the pronunciation? Culture. Culture. And the syllables stress? Two, one. Right, very good. Number seven is the word expand. Expand. Expand is a verb. It's an intransitive verb. Intransitive verbs mean verbs that are not followed by an object. So this word to expand. For example, when I say the sentence, water expands when it is warm. You know when it's very humid and there's a lot of water in the air? The water, the water expands. It gets bigger. So we don't have any object after that. We don't say expand the water. We say water expands, period. Right? So this is an intransitive verb. How many syllables are there in this word? Expand. Two. Two. Right. So how many dots? One. One. Right. Where's the dot? E X dot P A N D. Right. Expand. Expand. Where's the stress? Two. One. Two or one? Do I say? Okay. Do I say expand or expand? Expand. 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 Second one, right? Okay, so that's two dash two. Right. Let's try the next one. The word is file, and it's a noun. File has only one syllable, so there aren't any dots, right? If there's one dot, that's two syllables, but if the, if the word has only one syllable, you don't divide it at all. F-I-L-E, no dot. Did I miss a word, sir? So how about expand be two, one, or two, two? How about it? Two, two, or two, one? Two, two. Two, two. Right. Did you get it right? Okay, that's okay. That's all right. File. File. What's the syllabus stress code? One, one, because it only has one. So if it's only one syllable, it's always going to be one dash one. It cannot be stressed on the other syllable. You know, a file is some sort of a folder or a box, something to contain information, and it can be a digital file, as we have on our computers. The next word is focus. Focus. If you focus your attention, you, you uh, center your attention on something. So right now, what are we focusing on? Vocabulary and syllables and stress pronunciation. How many dots are there in the word? One. Because there are two syllables. Where's the dot? F O dot C U S. Okay, pronounce fo focus. Focus. Syllable stress code. Two one. Two one. Good. Okay. Focus is a transitive verb, but it can also be a noun. So to uh, to focus on is the verb, right? And if you're using your camera, say, let's change the focus. All right, let's look at number 10, identify. Identify. This is a transitive verb. How many dots are there? Three. Because there are four syllables. And so where are those dots? I dot, D-E-N dot, T-I dot, F-Y. Good. Identify. 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 Syllable stress code? Two. Two. Four. Two. 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 Right. Four syllables stress the second. So when you recognize who somebody is, or you recognize what something is, then you can identify it. So remember when I played music for you last week, and I asked you to identify what genre it was? Then somebody said, oh, yeah, I can tell. That one's jazz. Mm, I can tell that one is hip-hop. All right. So that's one kind of identification. The next word is individual. Individual. All right, now in this, uh, it says noun, but I also want you to write A, D, J for adjective, because actually the, uh, the definition here shows single, separate, and that 
that is an adjective definition. So what we have for individual, we have four dots, right? And they are I-N dot D-I dot V-I-D dot U dot A-L. And the pronunciation is individual. 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 How many syllables do we have? Five. 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 Right. And where's the stress? Three. 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 Five, three. So individual can be a noun. For example, each one of you is an individual. All of you together are a class. So it can be used as a noun. But uh, if I want to use it as a noun, we can say, all right, hold up your individual fingers. Not all five fingers together as one hand, but individual. So individual fingers. So it could be used as a noun or as an adjective. The next one is injure. Injure. Injure is a transitive verb. It means to hurt or cause damage. Did you injure your finger? Did you injure your leg? No. So to hurt. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> How many dots are in the word? Wow. Because there are I two I syllables, all right? And they are where? I, I N dot. J-U-R-E. Injure. 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 And injure has two syllables stressed on the one. first, right, two dash one. <laughs> Do you know the noun form? Injury. Injury. How do you spell injury? I have an injury. I N J U R Y. How many syllables? Three. Where's the stress? One. 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 Right. How would you divide that word? I N dot J U dot R Y. Right. Okay. So that comes from the same word family. Then we have the word job. Oh, everybody knows the word job. But it's a common, it's an academic word. You can see it used in every field. Simple J O B. No dots because. It's only a single syllable. Right. Okay. So if you have a job, you have work, you have you have some income. And we say one dash one because it's only one syllable and it's stressed on that one syllable. The next word is lecture. Lecture. Lecture is a noun that means a speech on a particular topic. We have one dot. Where is the dot? L E C dot T U R E. And that means it has how many syllables? Two. 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 We pronounce lecture. 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 Where is the stress? For one. one. Right. So two dash one for lecture. The next word is major. 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 All right. Now, in the book, it says N for noun. But the definition is actually for the adjective. So please write A, D, J, because that describes the adjective as main or most important. But and we can, can say, yes, it can be a noun, but the definition is shown for an adjective. So we'll talk about the major points, the main information. What is your major in college? What are you studying? That's your major field of study. We can just say major as a noun. So you know it both ways as a noun and an adjective. They both have the same pronunciation and the same word division. M-A dot J-O-R. Pronounced major. 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 Syllable so stress code? Two, one. Two, one. Two, one. one. Right. And the opposite is minor. Minor. Again, it says N, but I want you to put A, D, J for adjective because here we have the definition that says lesser in importance or smaller in amount or size. So minor, M-I dot N-O-R, pronounced minor. Syllable so stress code? One. Two, one. Two, dash, one. Minor. So the minor details. And you can also, in a university, you can have a major. Some universities also uh, can let you take a minor, which means you take some units, many units, but not quite as many as a major. How about physical? Physical. 
Okay, it can be a noun, but I want you to write ADJ for adjective because the definition here shows of or related to the body. That is an adjective meaning. Physical has how many dots? Two. 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 Nope, try again. Three. Let's try that again. P H Y S dot. Oh, actually, there is two. I'm wrong. You're right. You're right. Two syllables. Two, two dots, three syllables. So P H Y S dot I dot C A L. Physical. Two dots, right. Three syllables. The syllable stress code is? Three dash one. Right, right. So physical information, physical movement. Okay, physical response. The noun is to wait. I'm going to the doctor for my yearly, my annual physical, meaning an examination. So it can also be a noun. How about 18? The word is react. 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 What part of speech is react? That's a verb. It's a verb. Okay, that's a verb. So put V there. In, it's an intransitive verb. It means to speak or to remove when something happens. And we have one dot, R-E dot A-C-T. So that one's a mistake in the book, so write, change it. Change it to E intransitive verb, all right? If you want a noun, you have to use the word like uh, reaction. But here, react. How many syllables do we have? Two. 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 React. Where's the stressed? Stressed two. syllable? Two. two. Right. Two dash two. Good. How about relax? Relax. Two. Two, two. two syllables. R E dot L A X. Relax. Relax. Two, two dash two. two. All right. How about number 20? Stress. Stress. This can be a noun and it can also be a verb. And it doesn't have any dots because S-T-R-E-S-S is only one syllable. Stress. stress. So the syllable stress code is 1-1. Right. So if you have any kind of mental or physical strain or difficulty caused by some pressure, then that is stress. And the last word is tense. It's an adjective. Are there any dots? No. No. no, because it's only one syllable, right, so we say tense. If we have a noun tenseness, then that's two syllables, but if just the word tense, it's only one syllable, right?